Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Moomoo Moo Outdoors. Today I want to talk about 10 must-have safety items when you're kayak fishing. So a while back I did mention some of these uh, safety items uh, in my how to safely kayak fish in the ocean. However, I do have an updated list and also you can never talk too much about safety. My buddy used to say safety is no accident uh, and this is 100% true. You have to prepare for the safety. Uh, it doesn't happen accidentally. So let's get into it. So first item is going to be most obvious PFD. Personal flotation device as known as life jacket, life vest, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is a Stoquist Fisherman and I had it for over a year and I absolutely love it. So every year I hear a lot of people drowning simply because they did not have a PFD on. Those tragic incidents could be 100% prevented if they had a PFD on. So this is a must, must, must have safety items. So I hear a lot of people complaining about you know my PFD is not comfortable so they end up taking it off for a couple hours while on the water and once it's off it's no use so you have to have it on. So my recommendation is go to the local shop and uh, try on some good high quality PFD. They don't have to be expensive just make sure they're good quality and make sure they're comfortable uh, for you. So you don't have to think about taking it off at any time on the water. For me, this PFD fits me really well, it's super comfortable, so when I'm on the water, it's just like wearing your clothes. Even after fishing, I get back to the shore, you know, disassemble my kayak, put away my stuff, and this is pretty much the last thing I take off before I change. So, PFD, make sure it's comfortable, and this is a lifesaver. Item number two is going to be... Uh, dress for immersion, uh, whether it's a wet suit or dry suit or paddle suit, whatever you got. I use NRS Farmer John 3.0. Uh, this is what I wear in a cold water situation, out in the bay, out in the ocean, or even in the fresh water when the water temperature gets really cold. I wear this. So last week I did a video on how I dress for kayak fishing and uh, make sure you guys check that out if you haven't yet. I'll leave the link in the description. I wear the wetsuit because I'm allergic to latex. Dry suits typically have a latex a gasket on your, around your uh, wrist and around your neck. So I cannot wear that. So I go to the wetsuit route. Typically in NorCal, soft water temperature is going to range from 40s to low 60s. With that temperature, once you put in the water, you're gonna be suffering for hypothermia within minutes. For some reason, if you cannot perform self-rescue and uh, have to be in the water for a long time, 10, 20, 30 minutes, uh, you're gonna be suffering from severe hypothermia. That means uh, auto level consciousness or even unconsciousness. So uh, make sure you dress for immersion, whether it's wet suit or dry suit, paddling suit, whatever you got. Number three, VHF radio. So this little electronic device is another lifesaver. Not only you can talk to your kayak fishing buddies or even powerboat fishermen, uh, get intel where the fish are biting, you can easily connect to Coast Guard or other agencies if you are in distress or if somebody else is in distress. So this is another life-saving device that you must have uh, at all times. Number four is going to be a GPS device or some sort of navigation device. I use this fish finder Garmin Striker 4. It's got a built-in GPS, but you can also use a handheld GPS like this. Uh, if you have one for you know hiking or hunting, there's also many apps for your phone as well. And uh, at the minimum, you should have a compass on you. So what I do is I have this uh, fish finder and I always carry a backup uh, navigation device which is this handheld GPS in my PFD. There are many times your fish finder doesn't work whether because your battery wasn't charged or you know there's a corroded connection so your fish finder stopped working on you in the middle of your trip or beginning of your trip. So always have a backup either a phone, handheld GPS, at the minimum a compass. As you guys know in NorCal it's not uncommon to get super foggy Sometimes it gets so foggy you can't even see beyond 20 yards. 
uh, and then you're gonna lose your bearing really quick. You could be a couple miles off from where you're actually at. Even when you are fishing the delta, there's a lot of channels. You know, you make a couple turns into two couple channels, and you can easily lose your bearings and get lost. So GPS device is really important. Number five is gonna be a bilge pump. So this is a manual bilge pump meant to pump out water inside your kayak. This will pump out a few gallons per minute. You are on a plastic boat. You can easily spring a leak anytime. And also when you flip over and you upright your kayak, you climb back in, uh, you're most likely gonna have some water inside your hull. So you wanna pump that out as soon as you get back in. Because the more water, the more weight you add to the kayak, the kayak becomes unstable. So must have safety item. So number six is gonna be a whistle. So your radio might fail. Your radio battery might fail. It's electronic, it might fail on you. So instead of screaming for help, when you have a whistle, the whistle will travel much further distance and you can send out an SOS signal with your whistle and get help that way. Number seven, first aid kit. Um, this is my first aid kit. I don't really have much in here. I got a couple of uh, four by four gauze. I got roller bandage and I got elastic roller bandage and I got antiseptic ointment. I have liquid waterproof uh, band-aid and a medical tape. So not really much in here. Uh, you know, liquid band-aid for minor cuts uh, if you are Kayak fishing, your hands are going to be always wet, so typical band-aid is not going to work very well. Uh, but with the liquid waterproof band-aid, after a few minutes of completely drying, uh, you're pretty much good to go for many hours. Pretty much the rest of the item is, you know, to control bleeding. I was crabbing during a crab fest and I was uh, trying to cut my bait. I cut my finger by accident. And what I ended up doing is I just wrapped it around with my face shield and went back to the shore, but if I had the roll bandages, it would have been so much better. Number eight is gonna be a knife on you. So when you flip your kayak, uh, you're gonna have some kind of leashed items and uh, you can easily get tangled up on the, on the leash, whether it's your rod holder, a paddle leash, or whatever it is, you can easily get tangled up. Instead of having a knife on the kayak, if you have a knife on you, you can easily grab it and uh, cut the leash and uh, free yourself from it. Okay, next item is extra paddle. I don't have a paddle with me, dang it. Uh, but uh, carry an extra paddle if you are a paddle kayaker. Um, I hear a lot of times how the blade breaks and uh, they lose their paddle uh, when they flip over. So always have an extra on your kayak. Uh, hobby guy like me, um, I my main drive is the uh, pedal drive. And if I somehow break my pedal drive or lose my pedal drive for re some reason, I have a paddle uh, to get myself back to the shore or continue fishing. Number 10, last item is gonna be the headlamp. The headlamp is not only good for when you are setting up your kayak in early in the morning uh, before the sunrise or night fishing or nighttime crabbing or lobster hooping and whatnot. Even during the day, I carry my headlamp with me all times because you know things might happen. You plan to come back to the shore before the sunset, but things might happen on the water and then you are out on the water in complete darkness. So I believe headlamp is the must have safety item. So obviously there are more safety items that you can carry, but I think these 10 are the uh, must-have, uh, basic, essential safety items. Just to let you guys know, I have a review video on my Stockwest Fisherman uh, PFT and uh, Standard Horizon HX300 radio, NRS Farmer John 3.0, and also uh, this headlamp. So I'll leave the links in description uh, so if you guys can check it out if you guys want to. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please comment down below. And I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more and stay safe and stay healthy.